so i'm wondering why someone will say you're operating under the anointing and you are defeated it's a taboo no it's a taboo the reason why i left the service this morning is to go and pray that's why i left and i took permission from apostle gideon i said i will not be in your session let me pray so when i went to pray i was praying i was praying and then the bible talks about the unction upon us that teaches us the anointing started teaching me that lecture i did not know it before when i submitted to the anointing then he started teaching me how we are going to dominate today have you read the scripture that says that god will teach your your hands to to war and your fingers to fight you don't know how to fight that's what it means the anointing that you have received it what it will teach it will teach you if you think you can use the skills of an, another battle to fight another one you will know that the devil too improves after every fight <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. the devil went for training you don't know he went for training there is a place we used to do home sale in the village those days it was on thursday we were about to come to for home sale our host had had an accident the two legs were off the son almost had an accident the, this one almost had in one day then i knew satan went for intense training to take out every member of that household for allowing that home sale the legs were like, 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 like this you will know satan is bad even on friday or on sunday it was not that we were, we were not prayerful we were fermenting prayer in that place satan is strong but you know what happened it didn't end there the, the legs healed and he healed he healed then we continued and the same demons that came to attack they took off because the battle won't end until the story of dominion is told yes he, he, he did it before and he will do it again he said the enemies are there don't worry about them he said but my horn shut down exalt like the horn of a unicorn because i will be anointed with fresh oil In Acts chapter 10 verse 36 Peter was trying to preach to unchurched people people that do not know the scriptures they have no heritage in God how did he begin this summer he said the word which God sent unto the children of Israel preaching peace by Jesus Christ his Lord of all next verse that word I say you know which was published throughout all Judea and began from Galilee after the baptism with John preached. What was that word? How God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and power. What was the result? He could rule over sicknesses. They say this sickness is so bad. See what he, he made somebody's leg like this. Jesus can rule over it because there's a ruling element that is carried. He went about doing good, healing all. All. Eh? When you go to the microbiology laboratory and they take some samples from you and they test it and they find Salmonella paratyphi. They will spread the sample, the culture, and then use chloramphenicol on one to test the effect whether chloramphenicol can kill that salmonella. They will use ampiclox on another. They will use amoxil on another one. They will use ciprofloxacin on the other one. Then they will watch it over time. Then you will see that the one in the amoxil culture he died instantly they said okay this thing is sensitive to amoxil to three plus ciprofloxacin he was dying gradually but he died they said okay this is two plus chloramphenicol did not even affect it 
so it is not part of the prescription the bible says when jesus became anointed are you with me and he moved around he did good but he healed all that were oppressed of the devil it means the anointing has high affinity for oppression high in the cultural media oppression suffers quick death Because oppression is a form of rulership. And when the anointing that is an instrument for governance comes, it deals with oppression. Because the anointing is designed for rulers. Healing all that were oppressed of the devil for God was with 